Okay, today we're going to create a whitelist for IPs only in Microsoft Office 365. So the very first thing we need to do is get into the Exchange Admin Center. This is 2018, it could be changing later on, but uh, as of 2018, it's called Exchange Admin Center. You click on Mailflow, all right? And once you click on Mailflow, you click on Rules. All right, we're going to create a new rule for a whitelist. So it's quite easy. So this little drop down arrow, click that, and we're going to click create new rule. I'm sorry, not create new rule, bypass spam filtering right here. All right, we're going to give it a name, whitelist test. Okay. And we're going to apply this uh, to uh, a sender. And then the drop down when the IP address is. Okay. Now we're going to enter a box pops up. We just enter an IP address. Doesn't really matter. It's important that you hit the plus. So if you don't hit the plus, it doesn't actually get added. And we hit OK. And that's pretty much it. Now at this point, uh, we can add actions, some more like a, a like an, an and or an or rule, um, or an exception to the rule if you want to. It right here. Most people um, there's really no need for that. Um, and we want to make sure this is enforced. Everything's pretty much all set for you to, for to work. And and that is it. So we hit save. Now we're going to go edit this rule because in case you need to edit, you have to wait. There we go. So if we look at this one right down here, it's already highlighted. We hit the little pencil. We're going to edit that. See how the priority is 14? We can set that the priority to number one if we want to. We hit save. We wait. And wait. And you can see it's the very top. If it puts it right to the top, it looks like MailChimp is also on a priority zero, not one. So that kind of gives you an idea. But either way, that's how you do it. And that's pretty much it. And you can exit out and you're ready to go. Thank you.